Okay, more surprises. This is extremely crippling. Then uh, Camtasia crashes, crashes again. Yeah, this one's called Easy Riding, so I think this is the one with the stupid grenade shooting motorcycle. But. Yay. Uh, oh, oh, come on, really? They make these intros, like. Not difficult, but. Like. I don't know, because, like, there's no enemies there, so the only thing that can piss you off is your inability to do it right. So, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got a motorcycle that shoots grenade. This one's gonna be fantastic already, because I think this is, like, my most hated vehicle. Ugh. There's, like, no way to aim these grenades at all. And if it's gonna keep throwing those walls of eggs at me, then... I might just have to, like... Thing. I, I, will, I will now make yet another reference to that comment I got on uh, Kaizo64 that said, Your voice makes me want to kill a priest. And then, I oh. and then I responded, Then you've got some serious goddamn problems. And they got, like, 30 thumbs up. This game is freaking freaking loud. Ugh. I hate having to turn the sound on in every single video, but like it is very inconsistent with itself. Ugh god. So uh tell a hilarious story because I'm certainly not gonna be able to think of any while dealing with this. Uh okay. Hmm. Uh you gotta give me a minute to think of one. No, you must tell one immediately. Does it have to be my motorcycle related? Or No, but it can be. Alright. I don't think I have many motorcycle -y stories. I don't really see The only motorcycle story I have is the fact that there's like a lot of bikers around here that end. I think like ever since we moved to the new apartment, we have seen maybe like, three that actually wear helmets. Like, well, I, I know that wearing a helmet gonna is get uncool, hurt. but... Oh, fuck this level, seriously. Um, I... You have already heard this story, but I could tell the story of, uh... The wonderful pants crapping in a yes. car. Yes! Go ahead. Um, this is, like, the worst freaking story ever. It is really bad. Um, and I don't know why all my funny stories involve pooping, but anyway. Uh, uh... How are you supposed to do this level? Uh, I was, um, in the car with my friend, and his mom was driving him home to drop him off because he really had to go to the bathroom, and he, before we even started pulling into the driveway and we're still driving on his street, uh, unbuckled his seatbelt and started standing up to get something from the front seat because he was in the back. And we go up on the driveway and hit a bump, and he falls forward face first into the chair and craps his pants. Oh god. Yes. <laughs> it's like the stupidest goddamn story. I don't know why. And me and his mom just sat in the car and laughed for 15 minutes. And then there was the story where they drove off with you not into the car yet. Oh yeah, that was actually pretty recently. Um, we were in a parking oh, lot and God, I was still getting was in the over. car. And uh, I usually sit in the front, but I was getting in the back for whatever reason. Irrelevancy. I... <laughs> this place, plot continue, really smells. Super <sighs> potent. Uh, but I was getting in the back, and I put all my stuff down, and then I. Uh, I'm stepping, I have like one leg in the car, and she starts driving away, and I just have to like one leg hop my way back into the car. It was kind of dumb. Yeah, well I'm glad that at least Plock realizes that these levels are horrible, but he's still probably gonna make some stupid pointless comment at the end, like, I don't know, I don't, I don't think you can get much worse than, this place really smells but I'm sure I'll find a way somehow. This place, Plot Continue, really smells. Yes. That will be the title now. 
I thought that, like, arrow sign in the background was an axe. It should have been. Is there any way to skip these things? Of course not. Alright, what do we got? Gigantic helicopter. Oh my god. With... I love the layering on this thing. Like, it just yeah. doesn't work. The hitbox is massive. And then I immediately disable all the sprite layers. Okay, Yay! I'm never doing that again. Just do the BG2 layer, like I did in Mario World once, and couldn't see the platforms, and was very confused. How, how do I already have so much damage? Like, what Are happened? Your hitbox is the size of Canada? It probably isn't, though. Let's see how much... Yeah, there's, like, a lot of leniency here. Well, then. But... You should totally be able to deflect things with the propellers, even though it would probably just break them. That'd be cool. Fun fact, the nut that holds on the propellers of a helicopter is called the Jesus Nut. Yes! <laughs> Gay bomb. And then we just start talking about those again. I actually saw the gay bomb be referenced in a show a couple days ago. Oh my god. So anyway, my main problem with these levels, if I haven't... Like, other than the horrible controls, is, uh... With the other levels, with the fleas, like, there's an actual counter for them, so if you die and, like, restart the level, they stay dead. These will just constantly respawn, and there's no continues. point. Yes. There's no continues along the way, so you're basically just totally boned. You have to just somehow get a perfect run throughout the entire level. That. And I would enjoy it if, like, the game didn't give you horrible controls. It's like, oh, hey, now that you've played through the whole game, you've mastered the, like, normal way of doing things. Let's just get rid of that and now give you this shit. Uh, there's a lot of games that do that. I can't think of any direct examples other than, like, Star Fox Adventures having a, like, Andros. That's not a game. It, it's not. <laughs> what is it, an experience? Well, there are the people who say that Minecraft isn't a game and it's a program. Uh. I don't really understand. Um, also... Uh, since Brenna mentioned IGN and Galaxy 2 being wonderful, uh, guess what Sonic Unleashed got? No. <laughs> it's either very low or very high, and I'm gonna guess very high. It's higher than it deserves. Well, anything higher, higher than, than like, opinion. a 4 is higher than it deserves, so... Well, it... The, the PS2 version, the other ones, I think, got lower, but, uh, the PS2 version got a 7 out of 10. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that game didn't seem that horrible, but it was just really tedious and kind of not good at all. Uh, they did say somewhere in the review, I think, that, uh, if the game had been entirely the day stages, it would have gotten, like, a 9.5. Yeah. I'm convinced that they just made the day stages and then they ran out of ideas for them and they're like, oh, okay, let's do something else. And then they saw that Twilight Princess did well and involved a wolf. Yes. So they made the werehog. And then they're like, oh, let's do that again. And then they make Sonic and the Black Knight. <laughs> I don't think Sonic Unleashed is nearly as bad as Sonic 06. So. Well, nothing really could be, but... I haven't actually played 06, but I've seen enough of it to know that it is the worst goddamn thing ever. I actually did watch a pretty good amount of the Poke Captain's crew of that. And it was pretty bad. It's no use! <laughs> the videos themselves are awesome, but the game is terrible. Oh my god, can we be done with this, please? They're just gonna have you break the Yoshi eggs endlessly. And then, the, and then it just goes through five cycles of this. Then you have to do it again, but upwards. Mm. That would be I feel sad. Like that's not true. Oh god, is it? Uh huh. No. Oh, no. Don't let it. Okay. I'm scared. Okay, I think we're good. That Collect shells because kind of those help. Um. Gotta get the high score. Yes. 
So I, can, I can just kill these, but they take way too long because they have like 700 seconds of invincibility. Are you shooting at them? Cannonballs, it looks like. Oh. That just kind of crappily fall out of this tube on the bottom of the helicopter with like no forward momentum whatsoever. Kind of puke out those little magnetic balls. Yes. God, are we almost done? No. Uh, like, I'm afraid to progress because then stupid shit like that'll happen. I'm surprised I managed to kill that bat and didn't die from that water there. Well, water is deadly, ah. so... I thought the level was over. No, no such luck. Oh my god, why? Remind me again why I'm playing this game. You have to. Okay, let's get rid of another one of these, because it was fun the first 800 times I did it. You tell the pants crapping story again. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, so I was in the No, I'm not gonna <laughs> Could tell the story of when you were awake for three days, but we'll save that one. Good God, we'll save that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. Oh, it is this is freaking story, awful. <laughs> oh no. We're just gonna have a repeat of part four now, but in aerial mode. No, it's it's not that. It's just the point that I don't want to kill them because they take forever, but then I have to, because otherwise I'll die. So does this level freaking end? end? Oh my god, it's still going. Oh my god! Good god, there are like forty of them. Why? <laughs> they really liked this helicopter, apparently. The one that just kind of pukes out cannonballs. Yeah, it's like, I kind of liked the jetpack. Okay, are now kind we of. Done? Oh, thank god. Alright, Plock's head is just kind of upside down and disembodied. Yeah, nice one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> alright, here we go. <laughs> okay. Nine million points? points. Looks like two. Oh, oh, damn it. Three. Oh my. Oh, why? How many vehicles Real does rumbling. this game have? And this time, this time we get an enemy at the very beginning, so you can get damaged before the hard part. Bonus block. Okay, let's go. Let's... I'm debating whether or not we really should wait to tell that three day with no sleep story. Ugh. I I'd go, well, let's see what the vehicle is. Alright. It's a tank. It'll be the tank from Gex. That shoots... Something. things. And it's slow as shit. <laughs> tank, tank, tank. Game coming for Wii U. And the volume, once again, has gotten really freaking loud. So, there we go. We don't oh. need to hear this game anymore. Okay, I'm thinking three days with no sleep story, because this level might okay. take three days. Um... Basically, I, uh, didn't sleep one night last summer, and so I was like, hey, let's see how long I can go without sleeping. And I made it, um, I was on a third day, and it was like 7 p.m., and I was very irritable and mad and got upset over everything and had terrible mood swings and ate everything that existed and, uh, eventually, I, um, just kind of fell on the floor. And it's interesting how that happened, because I went to the couch to get a pillow so I could actually fall asleep on the couch, but instead fell on the floor with the pillow in my hands. So I can only imagine what people looking at me <laughs> were thinking, because I had a pillow, but it wasn't under my face. <laughs> my face was on the floor. Oh god, that's my favorite part oh, yeah. of the story. <laughs> I made it 68 hours, which is almost three days. So, the record I found out yesterday is 264 hours, which is 11 days exactly. Oh god. I'm totally gonna beat that. DVD player! <laughs> A 
apparently he was actually fine, and the worst thing he did was he, like, lost concentration on the last day and started, like, hallucinating. And then he slept for, like, 17 hours afterwards. That's it. I'd probably sleep for, like, six days. I uh, thought he was gonna fall asleep for, like, a month. Yeah, wasn't there more to this, to your story? Or, I don't know. I mean, when you told it, uh, it was a lot longer, but I guess... I think I just went into a lot more detail about each day, and that was about it. I, I, long story short, I got really freaking mad at everything. Like, I would drop a... I think I'd, like, drop a soda on, like, the Fuck third you, game. day. Ah. Ah. Uh, I was carrying a soda, and I, like, tripped and dropped it, and it wasn't that big a deal or anything, but I, like, screamed. And was very angry. Oh my god, this tank is the worst goddamn thing ever. Oh god. Anyway, yeah, my my only like no sleep story was the it was extremely hot and I thought I was Mater thing that I already talked about once. So oh god, I remember. without getting into that. Uh the only other stupid story I have was when I uh, slept for like 20 hours for absolutely no reason. It, there isn't really anything to this story other than I slept for 20 hours for absolutely no reason. Basically, I just got home from school on a Friday. I was like, I was pretty young. I think it was like sixth grade or something. And I came, yeah, I came home on Friday, and then like felt kind of tired, so I took a nap, and I didn't wake up until, like, 11 in the morning the next day. Oh. It was extremely... Oh, for God's sake, really? Okay, so you have to shoot this down on a moving platform while this stupid tank lurches backwards every time you shoot. Ugh. Ugh. Game design. It exists. This is annoying to watch, let alone play, I'm sure. Yeah. Alright, well, you got most of it that time. Oh at least. my god. Go away. It's fine. <laughs> okay, can we go? And let me guess, the level's only halfway over. Oh, it's only a third of the way done. Oh, oh look, I, I get to know. do it again. <laughs> There's another trend in this game introduce something really annoying, and then you have to do it twice. Or four times, I don't know. I don't have enough crappy stories to tell hey, for this look, game. Hey look, there it is again! Uh-oh. <laughs> Let me guess, they're at full health now. Yep. And then I Yay. shoot them through them somehow. Ugh, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be the last segment. Because there's still, no. like, two levels after this. And God knows they're probably gonna be, like, a year long. <laughs> Please let it be over. <laughs> This isn't interesting, or fun to watch, or play. game has been like six segments, but sometimes it feels like it's been like 40 because uh, of this. Oh, look, there's enemies. Uh-oh. In case you got this far, and somehow didn't die on the last part. Or haven't killed yourself. Remind you again, get through this with no continue points. <clears throat> And, and, and they have the audacity to call the easy mode child's play, and this one normal. Because, like, the easy mode actually really isn't that bad. But then it's like, you do that, and it's like, oh, there he didn't beat the game. <laughs> I'd hate to see what hard would be. Yeah. I just don't even care about Plock's stupid statements anymore. I'm convinced that he's just, like... Hey, he has a brain tumor or something, so I'll just let it. I'll just let it slide. Okay, I guess. Uh, uh. Thank you for letting us know about this. Anyway, next video will be the end for real this time.